All right, what are we doing today, bro? I don't know what it's called, but something <laughs> close, uh, something close to this right here is something I would, uh, something like that. You guys can see. Try to keep it dark as possible. Yeah. Keep the beard as wide as possible. I still want it wide, but mm -hmm. just low. Okay. Yeah. Yo, YouTube, what's going on? Well, today we got one of them bangers. If you're new to my channel, please like, share, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell to get alerted when new videos come out. Kick them feet up, let's lock in, let's get to it, let's get right, let's get it. So I'm gonna go in using my FX1 Clipper and I wanna hit just towards the end of the dreads area where I can basically keep a bunch of the new growth to give my client the desired length that he want. As you guys can see, man, my client got really damaged dreads, you know, for this time that he's been growing them. They just haven't been, you know, um, they got to a stage where it was just really time to let them go. And as you guys could tell, it's really that time. So in terms of a makeover, y'all know transformations. This is what being do. I'm locked in. I'm focused today. So I just want to make sure that I'm able to detach all of these at a consistent rate. I want to go in and start to pick the hair, lift the hair. Uh, just due to any of the hair that is matted to the scalp. We want to get everything standing up before we run our clippers through it. As you guys can see, you know, we just picking it. And I want to check out if I left any locks or anything of that nature. That's why I go for the feel to see if it's still locked there or if it's just, you know, kind of still twisted from the previous, you know, lock that was just moved there. And as you guys can see, that's the length that we got. So I'm going to go in with a number three completely open against the grain. And as you guys can see, I want to just go clean through the head and I want to get nice, clean passes through the head just to ensure that the client get down to that one desired length. As you guys know, on me that's what we got to do so as you guys can see you know we just you know knocking all this hair down getting it consistent as possible and just ensuring that our client can be as clean as possible i'm gonna give a huge shout out to my dog i am takeoff beats you know he sent me this pack just through the drop box and i heard this beat i said you know what let's go ahead let's do it let's bring it together so my next step is to go in using my trimmers creating a roundabout towards the bottom of the tape area you know that's lining up with the top of the ear and when doing this specifically as you guys can see i want to clear this panel area and i'm going to give myself some room when i'm clearing this area out i'm setting myself up for a nice clean taper so i want to get y'all you know set up and those first guidelines is always important in terms of how the taper is going to be shaped my next step is to go in with a one and a half completely open and going in with a one and a half open I want to go up at least a whole inch and I really want to feather this area to create a soft natural you know line or whatever so it's not a harsh guideline in the uh, side taper area next step a number two guard that's completely closed and um i just like i said using the hilt of my blade now open with no guard on at all and as you guys can see them fx ones are doing it man beautiful clipper nice blade and it's just coming together now completely closed with a one and a half guard and as you guys can see look how it's coming together haven't pulled my one guard out yet just taking my time just ensuring that we able to do this clean now my number one guard completely open and now i'm just using the edges of my clipper to really get that nice clean desired tapered look and i close them all the way and as you guys can see you know i'm just still playing in that realm just trying to get it together and really trying to create the transition super clean Now I want to go completely closed and I just want to bounce on the edge of my teeth and I just really want to hit towards the bottom of this area and bring everything together. And as you guys can tell, you know, the taper coming together really well. Super fire, man. That's completely closed. That's beautiful. KV, turn me up. beautiful man that's beautiful that's beautiful that's beautiful now i want to go completely close with a one and a half guard and i basically want to hit these in areas of the hair right here and bring it all the way together not completely open 
I'm dropping the halfway and close and now with my one guard halfway and close and as you guys can see we got a nice clean type of area in that area and now we go and just clearing out this panel area same thing towards the back of here and now completely close when I want to have guard we want to just give ourselves some room we don't really want to push this taper super high at all but we want to ensure that we get this client a nice clean taper now we flip the clippers with the grain just to you know slowly but surely blend it a little bit more into the bowl now completely open you know going up at least an inch and giving myself some room so I could create transition now halfway here fully closed now as you guys can see man it's super clean we just taking our time now completely open using our 1 16th guard halfway here now fully closed fully open 1 16th guard halfway not fully closed as you guys can see that's all lever player consistency same thing with a one guard open now with the grain some to debulk it a little bit more and fully close and as you guys could tell you know the taper in the back won't be overly special but the taper in the back is just supposed to at least give him some transition and give him a clean look as you guys could tell you know this still his first haircut and we didn't cut it as low as i would liked it but we still got a real nice dark look um with the um client's hair i just wish he would have let me cut it down to a one and a half but as you guys can see the taper still come out really good so on this side you already know what i like to do man bro it's been a journey out here in tampa man this year has been a, a real big journey uh i've been just you know really working staying consistent you know doing the things that i need to do i'm getting ready to move not from tampa but you know move different places or whatever you know just um bounce around some so you know i ain't really been on the youtube thing super hard i gotta get ready to move by the first of october so you know i just been getting everything for that uh ready but i want y'all to understand and know uh people out there some of us perform better under pressure and if y'all like me you know that's the best time that we perform it's definitely one of the most stressful and irritable times period but on some real stuff you know performing under those lights is where i really shine at. and i know it's a lot of people in here that are just like that that like to perform you know under the stressful times so the message for me is, you know, always take your time or whatever it is, but always properly set yourself up. I understand and know we like to, some of us like to do things kind of last minute and late, but, you know, get start getting a head start on things. Don't let things, you know, uh, get past you or don't procrastinate too much, especially when it's something with your career or something with your livelihood. You know, take everything serious in terms of those two things and always set yourself up to win. Always plan accordingly. Always put yourself in the best predicament that you can because this life thing don't give us too many chances so i want y'all to understand and know if you out there cooking up you out there getting to it stay getting to it stay focused stay locked in i'm right with you so my next step is to go in using some you know gillette shaving cream i really wish my hot leather machine came in but it hasn't came in yet i had ordered one but it still ain't came in so I basically want to use this and you know I want to put this around the face and around the lineup and then I'm gonna go in with a hot towel and as you guys can see I'm wrapping the face and then I normally sit there for about you know three to five minutes just to really let it soak in and you know warm up that area you know loosen up that follicle some and then I'm gonna go in completely closed and now I want to shape all of this hair I see that it's still kind of fuzzy but I want to bring everything down to that one lift and I want to have that one lift looking really good so you know to bring everything down to lay everything down and bring everything forward you have to you know go across the top of it and really bring it together you know consistency is everything if you're not consistent with it then it's not gonna be it so y'all know what we like to do let's hit this back of this beer line first because y'all know me and y'all know being when we doing this thing it's frame out work at all times so let's go ahead we're gonna frame out this back area we're just taking our time doing a lot of our frame at work. Hey, anybody that's in the D.C. area, 
Like, I'm telling y'all, anybody that's in this D.C. area. Me and Sean Cuts here is having a nice, clean class for you guys, teaching you guys a nice look and learn where you guys are coming cut uh, and come and look at us cut. Uh, we do have hands-on classes. It's like two slots available with that. I want you guys to show up to this class. September 24th, it is going down. We have two options. You can either come and see the look and learn or you can come and do the hands-on, which way you will bring the model and you guys are bring your clippers and cut the models while we on the floor helping you guys please again september 24th this weekend in washington dc get your tickets now it's literally i think it's only like seven seats left for the look and learn and it's three seats available for the hands-on it's an experience that you guys do not want to miss and i'm telling you dc finna be lit up we just killed charlotte so please come step out Come enjoy yourself at Washington, D.C. Come meet me. Come shake my hand. You know, come show some love. To those that want to figure out how to get these tickets, please go to tomb45.com. Hit the events tab and it'll have registry for the class right then and there. Again, tomb45, T-O-M-B, 45.com. Hit the events tab. Get your ticket now. Hands on or not hands on. And please come show up. It's going to be dope. So as you guys can see, I'm hitting the vertical bars here on both sides just to allow myself to get the lineup as straight as possible. Now I'm going to my middle point and working myself all the way to my right corner creating a nice clean 90 degree without doing too much as you guys could tell the client had dreads and all of these hairs is naturally lighter than the hairs that's in the back of the head so I want to ensure that if I'm going to give him a line on this front lineup area it has to be prominent it has to be clean and I can't push it back because if I push it back I'm gonna destroy my client and as you guys could tell just using the corner of my teeth working myself all the way around that corner giving myself a nice clean c cup set myself up for that kill shot y'all know what beam do y'all know how i am when it comes to this barbering thing y'all know what i like to do i like the precision i like the crispy lines same thing here recenter myself move to the left and then i go back readjust myself make sure that everything is straight and that we are basically keeping everything in attack and that was a you know pro move i you know put my comb towards the end of one of his uh, vertical bars and slid it all the way across so i was able to trace the same line and just you know taking my time as you guys can see you know this this is what it's about if we not doing things like this then we are pretty much holding ourselves back because at the end of the day like us as you know barbers or artists whatever you doing out there always show your talent to everybody put it in front of the world because how do you want to be big or be a guy that's remembered in this world but you don't want to put this work in front of people you don't want to educate people you get what i mean you know barbering became special to me when i started educating once I knew that I could make another version of myself, you know, that's the ultimate goal. Like I told y'all in a previous video, my pops always told me, what's a great man if you can't make another one? And I've made plenty. So, you know, this is this is just my mission statement is to continuously make great men. I go in using my, you know, 245 compressor, assisting it, you know, with no drip and Sean cuts head color enhancement card. And I'm bringing everything together and I'm just, you know, bursting at the lineup right now and just ensuring that I could get a nice clean you know lay color version you know to people out there that's that's unknowledgeable about our color no drip it's completely waterproof it's non-chemical based this product doesn't rub off this product doesn't sweat off so you could always let this product down as a waterproof base you know just to give your clients some longevity and a nice clean crispy look this is for razor sharp images i would like to double up on this client because his spots were lighter so the waterproof base can't build on top of hair but fibers can so you lay a waterproof base first and then you come behind it with fibers and build on top of the hair to give it more of that real thicker hair look once I start to add the fibers, as you guys can tell, it starts to look like the rest of his head, like towards the back of the hair, where the hair is naturally thicker because you can build on top of the hair. But remember, I have the waterproof base, so this is longevity. He's easily going to get a week out, out of this. So when doing these colors, you guys got to understand and know like exactly what color is going to work and why it's going to work and what situation is going to work best in. So now I'm going to go in using, you know, my Tomb 45 Precision Pack Pencil, one of the most important, you know, tools or things apart of what i got going on and with this pencil you can get every tool that i'm using in here our fibers our color our pencils our compressors sean cuts hair color enhancement on the tune 45 website you hit the shop tab and you use beam
team is your promo code but as you guys can see i'm casilla the line i want to give it up. give it a kodak moment you know this is something that's going on my tiktok this is something that's going on my my instagram is going on my youtube is going out to the world i want to package it the best way that i can package it y'all understand and know at times no matter how good the product is when the packaging look amazing people buy it and the reason that people buy it is because it look good so i want y'all to understand and know that you don't have to use none of my steps that i'm using throughout the haircut but i'm showing you guys my day-to-day -day routine and what allows me to make my work look really good when i'm posting it on instagram facebook twitter youtube whatever it is i just want you guys to understand and know you know we out here and we getting busy so i, I lean my client back angle that raise at a 45 degree angle and bring everything back to the top part of that beard line as you guys can see we are scoped in something so beautiful right now and you know we just taking our time and we ensuring that we giving a client a nice clean razor sharp lineup that's what beam is known for beam is the definition of you know laser sharp so what i'm gonna do is always always give you guys that laser sharp image so as you guys could tell you know we always go behind things and do it more than once because you know cleanliness is next to godliness and if we settle for one time then we'll be doing ourselves a disservice and we'll be cheating our clients my clients pay top dollar for these haircuts two three a hundred dollars for these haircuts even though i don't charge them that i charge a hundred dollars but my clients overpay me because they care about my time they care about my level of detail so with that being said if they care about those things and i'm able to make more revenue behind a chair that way that means i have to service them that way and servicing them a specific way literally only helps you and the reason that it helps you is because you are the product you're trying to sell your product which are your services i honestly believe there are better barbers than me in the world but my clients don't believe that with that being said i package it so beautiful to all of my clients that they value my work they value the things that i bring to the table they believe that the best haircut they're going to get is going to be out of my chair and i want you guys to understand and know as businesses this barbering thing is a trade at first until you turn into a business and when you turn into a business you have to sell this product to the clients you have to sell your finished looks you have to sell you know your services and the things that you offer to these clients they need to be relaxed they need to be able to leave the hair uh, uh barbershop with a new attitude feeling amazing and that's what i do i still that confidence it's more than a haircut when you come to beam it's more than all of that it's more than just a haircut i'm not trying to be the best barber in the world i want to impact lives with every haircut that i do i want to educate upcoming barbers to be just as great if not even greater than me because i'm not the end all be all but i'm a product of somebody that put that pain into all of my work i'm a product of somebody that created a business out of just a trade that helped me eat through college i want y'all to understand and know that we turn this thing into a delicacy and as you guys can see we just keep everything consistent. We bringing it all the way together and I'm getting my boy as icy as possible. Cleaning up under the neck. Top of the beer line is insane. We didn't turn this dude into a whole different dude. And I love everything about this haircut. I love it. I love it. This is this this is what I do my job for when it comes to these transformations. If you in a Tampa, Florida area or the Orlando area, man, hit me up on Instagram or hit me up wherever you need to hit me up. Hit me up in the comment section of here, whatever. Let's set you up an appointment, especially if you somebody that's trying to get a nice transformation. As you guys can see, we didn't turn this man into a different individual. This is beautiful. It's unfortunate in the world that we live in that we get clients that come in looking like this. But at the end of the day, it's barbers. We're the first form of surgeons. And it's our job to change their lives for the better. I unpack every individual that come in my shop for a haircut, no matter the price tag. Without further ado, y'all know how we give it up. Let's lock in. Hashtag TBT in that comment section. Hashtag Glacier Gang. Hashtag Glass. Y'all know what time it is. This is so special. I want to thank my client. I want to thank all you guys. If you guys were able to give me some of your time and share this beautiful moment with me. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell to get alerted when new videos come out. And may God bless. Alright, bro. You gonna let me know what you think? Ooh, here we go. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Dang, that's me. That was crazy. Yeah. Whoa. Cut all of that hair off. Man, that's hard. Rocking with it? Yeah, man. This is good.
Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I was nervous about the whole thing. That's why I did a lot of research. Yeah, came yeah. Across you. Yeah. Damn, bro. Yeah. I no, appreciate that's that. Fire. How yeah. long has this been? It's about six years. Yeah. About six years, I got yeah. you. Okay, YouTube, as you guys can see, he had dreads for six years long. We cut him off, gave him a whole different look. As you guys can see, super clean. Real distinguished gent look. Nice, clean taper. Beer full, crispy, sharp. If you like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, click the notification bell to get alerted when new videos come out. And I'm out of here.